Well, things are looking pretty black, but that may be a good thing. Stick around. <laughs> Old Man Grognard here, and today we are going to look at The Black Hack by Square Hex and the people who put out Oubliette. Mainly, this is credited to one David Black or Peter Regan. I haven't figured out if David Black is a pseudonym or somebody else, but Peter Regan is the one who puts this out. It's one of those uh, pick-up-and-go, rules-light RPGs. And it pretty much cuts it down to the minimum. And I kind of like it. There are other games that they've, based, that they've uh, used this as a basis of. The one I recently uh, reviewed was Sharp Swords and Sinister Spells, which uses it as a base with a few changes. And I'll, I'll try and mention those as we go along here. Um, it gives you the basic six stats, as everybody's familiar with. Um, there are the basic four classes, uh, Fighter, Thief, cleric and conjurer i don't know why they call him a conjurer uh no races but i'll get to that i got a, a solution to that <laughs> in fact i've got a couple of tweaks i'd like to do it myself um saving throws they're all based on your stats and they have a chart in there shows you which stat is for which save so it's pretty much easy peasy kind of castles and crusades um Everything, the core mechanic is a d20 below your stat. In fact, the players pract make practically all the rolls in this game. If, a cre if an opponent attacks, he rolls for the opponent. And uh, you have they have to roll on the opponent's whatever. Say you're com it's combat, melee combat, you roll under your strength to hit. If it's uh, ranged, you roll under your dex to hit. Same with the monsters. You roll under the monster's strength or dex, depending on what it is. And the, and the, the game master will tell you what, uh, what stat you're rolling under. So, or not. I don't know. They may just say, roll it. And it says, okay, he hit, he didn't hit. And uh, then the, the game master rolls damage. You know, he doesn't, like I said, he doesn't roll anything in this. Now, that differs from Sharp Swords and Sinister Spells because, um, well, it doesn't, it, it differs the way they do it. I mean, the players are still making all the rolls. But um, anyway, let me show you what the book looks like before I go on. Uh, <clears throat> nice two column layout, easy to read. Uh, pretty terse, as in, this is how you play, this is how you do it, and go. Um, initiative is pretty much by, I believe, Dex. Actually, you roll it, and then it's within that. I'm not too sure about that. These are what the classes look like. That's the warrior. And you notice the damage you do is not by weapon. It's by class. Warrior does X amount of damage. That goes all the way back to practically Moldve and maybe further. Um, I remember Moldve, all the, damage, all the damage was a D6. Well, here it's by class. So, I don't mean, I mean, if you want variable damage, you can probably do it. Um, I, it'd be nice, but I can roll with that. Uh, this is what some of the spells look like. All the spells, uh, you have 10 levels of spells, either arcane or clerical. And the spells are grouped by level, which is, to me, is better than this one. You kind of like, okay, you get X amount of spells per level, you get such and such spells as you go up, maybe one, and they don't really have a class, uh, a level. So you just go one, two, three, four, five. I know he's trying to keep it simple, but I like it a little more, or a little more organized than that. Um, here's the uh, some of the monsters. The monsters, all, it, it's kind of like Tunnels and Trolls. The monsters, their hit dice is what you base everything off of. Now, you have hit dice here. They have a chart saying X amount of hit dice, you roll this, d4, d6, whatever. Or you can just take it by point. Like they have four hit dice, they do these many points. I'd like to say it goes by hit dice, but I looked on the chart and it's like it kind of skips around. It, 
It doesn't. <laughs> Let's just say it doesn't. They also have sp- also the, it shows you the special abilities. Go to the name, hit die special abilities. That's all you need to know. Boom. Here's a character sheet. There's a character sheet. It's really pretty. I like it. Really well designed. Uh, like I said, simple. Everything else, just like everything else. Uh, let's see what else we got. Armor. Armor's ablative. You get armor points, and it says once the armor points are very exhausted, you take damage directly. You don't take it off. Um, works for me in tunnels and trolls because they do it differently. Doesn't work for me here. But, like I said, caveat emptor. You know, um, do what you will. Um, you have the advantage-disadvantage mechanic from 5th edition here. Uh, and it's roll 2d20. And if you're rolling to advantage, you take the best. Rolling disadvantage, you take the worst. A little different in here because it gets the game master involved. If you watch the previous review and I'll tell you about it. Um after each spell is cast, here's something. After each spell is cast, you must roll your wisdom if you're a cleric or intelligence after the spell is cast. And if you don't make it, you lose, because in this game, you don't lose the spell after you've memorized it. But you got to roll to see if you lost a spell after you cast it, because it takes energy to cast it, and sometimes that affects your memory. So they give you a chance of keeping all your spells, but at a cost. So, that's what you're going to do that <clears throat> that way. It's a real simple, it looks like a real simple system. And some people may say it's a little too simple, but, you know, make it that as what you will and t- house rule it. I mean, there's you could use a couple of quick fixes in here without really affecting the fast pace of this game. There it is. It's 20 pages. That's it. Now, getting this game. Also, I wanted to talk about, you said, here's here's a fix right here. There are a couple of companies, and I think maybe even the company that puts this out, um, if you can go on Drive-Thru RPG and RPG Now, you can get supplements for this. Like, I got one, the Race Hack. And these are PDFs. I printed this out, made a booklet just, you know, so I could use it with this. They have the Race Hack. They have two volumes of the Class Hack. Uh, they got the Cthulhu Hack, the This Hack, the... They're all on drive through. They're all PDFs, and they're all like a buck. And I think this game is like two, uh, four ninety five. Yeah, on drive through. Uh, buying them from Square Hex, um, which is the people who make Oubliette, the uh, fanzine. Uh, they're in England. They're in Great Britain, and so they they. Uh, it's first of all, it's going to take a while to get. Even though I got mine in eight days. I was surprised. I expected it to take two weeks plus. Um, the book is about four pounds British, about five bucks American. They also have a bundle which I bought, which comes with the rule book, 20 character sheets, this little coaster thing here, which has hexes on it smaller hexes and larger hexes now it looks like a coaster but i probably have to find something to do with it he sends his own business card peter regan and he gives you a little like uh it's like a, a map key you know stairs doors this that and the other thing which is i thought was kind of cool and you get this this pull out here of uh a town of the queer and deadly town of sorrow set and <clears throat> basically it's a it, this would go great with uh, Vornheim because you're you know you're just rolling up a sandbox it's a it's a quick and dirty sandbox type of thing they even put a drop box here where you can drop d6s down and find out where you are in the town they don't even give you a map uh, exploring the streets uh, they got a d most of it is a d6 um, down the street when going down the street d6 a boon d6 the weather d6 the townsfolk mood d6 etc etc uh, creating encounters, and it's a handy little, handy dandy little chart. Plus, you get a GM screen. Yay! We love GM screens, don't we? Little tiny mini GM screen, and all that for about twelve pounds fifty, or about nine twenty-five US. Now, 
your shipping will cost about five bucks, so you want to add a, add to that. Or, like I said, you can go on to Drive Through RPG or RPG Now and just get the PDFs for five bucks and stuff and print them booklet style. And there you go. Either way, they get their money. So that is the Black Hack. I really kind of like this. I'm going to carry it in my bag, so we can uh, we can just do it. Oh, I was looking through the the race hack too. They do stuff like. You have racial modifiers on here for the four classes or whatever class. They have Drake, which I guess is a dragon man, dwarf, elf, gnome, half elf, halfling, and half orc. But in the, and then it goes human and tiefling. Oh, great tieflings! But part two also gives you if you want to do races class. So they break down the dwarf class, the elf class. And the halfling class. So they give you the base three classes on here if you want to do races class, which is what I usually do. If I was using this as a quick pickup, I'd go races class just to make it simple. And you could probably run a campaign with this. You know, if you get, if, say you, say you're, um, oh, I don't know, you're working and your group want to pl wants to play at lunchtime. And the black hack would be perfect. You could even run a campaign on your lunch hour for this. You know, you just, it takes, what? It just takes no time at all to, write, to roll up stats and go. Um, and the stats, rolling stats is, you know, you roll 3d6 in the following order. If a stat is 50, oh, get this, if a stat is 15 plus, the next one must be rolled with 2d6 plus 2, then continue with 3d6 until the end of, until the end or another 15 plus is rolled. Once all the stats are generated, it may be swapped around. Well, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. I'm going to have to look into that a little more. But anyway, that's the black hack. Get it. Love it. It's a nice, nice, uh, quick addition to your role-playing collection. So if you guys got any questions about this or you want to talk about it or you want to whatever... Uh, oldmangrognard at gmail.com. So until next time, bye bye. <laughs>